Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm doing a review on the Messenger Elite XXQ boxing gloves. So stay tuned. Hey guys, Carlo here and today I'm doing a review on the Messenger Elite XXQ boxing gloves. I got mine in the all black with neon green trim colorway, 16 ounces and lace up. You can also get these in Velcro closure anywhere between eight and 18 ounces, as well as multiple different colorways, like red, orange, white, blue, the black you see here. The gloves are made of full genuine leather construction with a layered foam padding over the knuckle area that has a medium density and firmness to it. And the gloves are manufactured in Pakistan. Now this is gonna be the second pair of messenger gloves I'm doing a review on, the first pair of the Elite XXQ I did a review on were a pair of yellow 16 ounce of Velcro gloves. So the main difference between those and these is gonna be the, just the colorway and the type of closure with, with these being lace up. Uh, from a design standpoint, for a 16 ounce glove, I'd say that these are probably more on the medium to large size. These make a really great sparring glove, especially in lace up form because of the type of padding that's utilized which we'll discuss here in a little bit more detail in a second. The leather on here has a matte finish to it. So if you're a fan of leather that's not very shiny, doesn't have that really glossy look, then you'd probably prefer the look of this matte leather. It does say messenger written down vertically on the outside edge of the glove. And you'll notice that it's the same color, that neon yellow or neon green, just depending on how you look at it, that they use also uh, for the stitching. So I do like the, the color of the thread. It gives it a little bit of contrast, especially against the black. Oftentimes you get gloves that are all black and even the stitches are black as well, which is fine. Some people like that blacked out look, but some people want a little bit of contrast. So I do like that neon green stitching. And it's, the funny thing about the stitching is that it's not a major component of the glove in terms of panels of like leather. You know, if you were to do like the palm side leather, and this neon green, it would obviously be very obvious. But with the stitching, it's still quite obvious in terms of just the color and how, how it goes against the black leather. So I do like that. Um, and it gives it a nice look to the glove itself. Coming down to the back of the wrist, you have the Messenger cloth logo and patch. It says fight gear, boxing, forward slash martial arts, distinctively different. And I believe that is the Pakistan flag uh, colorway at the bottom. It almost has kind of like a silver shimmery look to it uh, when you're looking at that, depending on the angle. Uh, more stitching at the bottom, double stitching. You have, I'd say about an inch of padding on the back of the wrist. Uh, more dense foam on the back right here, I'd say it's like an EVA. And then you also have a softer foam that goes up against your hand or your skin on the inside. That's a tri liner. Really nice and smooth. Rotating around, you also We'll see the 16 ounce weight tag right there. And the inside of the wrist has a soft foam padding. Again, I'd say that's almost, I'd say about three quarters of an inch of that soft foam padding that comes up to right here. Ends where that stitching comes across diagonally. And you also have it on this side. Again, ends where that, that stitching comes across diagonally. Has their slogan, distinctively different. That comes across right there. Ventilated perforated holes on the palm above and below the grip bar as well as on the thumb. The grip bar is a good size, has a nice firmness to it as well. You feel that it's a piece of foam or rolled up cloth that they use. And you also have a leather attached thumb. Now quality wise, these gloves are really nice. You can see the leather on here. It doesn't really have any types of imperfections. You know, using these gloves for training, they've held up nicely. The stitching looks really good throughout the entire glove. I mean, I'd, I'd say the only area that I would say is imperfect that has opportunities right here on that back hinge point where you can see the stitching is a little bit off track, but if we're being detailed with it, then that's what we're looking at. You can see it has that diagonal stitching, which is kind of unique. You typically don't see that design that comes across. So I'm, I'm not too sure other than the purpose of them wanting to keep this foam contained below the thumb piping. That's why they went with that diagonal stitching. But oftentimes you just see them kind of go horizontally across 
with this ditch. So it's kind of unique that they did that. Maybe they just did that for the aesthetics of the glove because you can see it kind of comes across that way as well on that side. So oftentimes you'll see it end and then you'll have a separate one come across horizontally. You typically don't see it come all the way across like that. So just a different look. Palm looks good. All the holes are punched out. Grip bar is done very nicely. You can see that the foam is bonded nicely to the leather. The attached thumb is in the proper position. It doesn't allow the thumb to, when you make a fist, poke, poke out. I'd say the opportunities with this glove outside of the small stitching issues is going to be the weight. The gloves came at about 15.2 and 15.5 ounces. So they're slightly underweight, not a whole lot, but they are underweight. And also the gloves are a hair top heavy. Um, I wish the foam on the inside of the wrist was a little bit more firm. So it doesn't allow the inside portion right around here to flex as much. And you can see that that's kind of the weak spot or where it flexes. And it's also subjective. A lot of people, some people like to have a little bit of flexibility in their gloves. They don't want it to be too um, rigid in this area. So there's also the subjectiveness on the person using the gloves. But do keep in mind that it's a little bit on a heavier side when it comes to the front of the glove because it's a little bit softer right there. So just the weight distribution, it being a little bit underweight. The laces on here also are an off-white color, kind of a cream color. They're nice and long. Um, they kind of remind me of yarn rather than like a standard shoelace. You do have plastic tips at the ends and the, um, the laces are circle laces, they're round laces, they're not the flat type. Um, and they are very, very long laces. So uh, for those of you that hate short laces because you can't get the laces wrapped around your wrist to really give you that nice lock secured feel, you'll see that these laces are extremely long. So you can go over your wrist several times to lock in your hands and your wrist. Comfort wise, sliding your hand into the glove, you'll notice the liner, the first thing is very comfortable. No issues with bunching up. Wrist support feels really good. Thumb positioning feels nice. Nice parallel thumb. This piping right here is large enough to accommodate your thumb, especially if you have a fatter thumb, especially if it's a little bit meatier in this area, oftentimes that's, that's the area you're gonna get a lot of discomfort. You'll also notice that that piping will kind of pinch into the meat of your, your thumb. With this, you don't have any issues with that. And when you make a fist, you'll notice that it does have a little bit of pull down on the tip of the thumb, but not enough to where uh, when you land your shots, especially a jab or any of your straight punches, that your thumb ends up jamming into that tip. Uh, finger depth is perfect. I do like the fact that it's nice and deep, not too shallow. Um, you have a, I wouldn't necessarily call it a secondary grip bar, but they use extra liner to cover the stitching right here so you don't feel that. So I do appreciate that in terms of comfort. Uh, not too wide, not too narrow, especially for a 16 ounce glove. I think that these are our size, you know, from a proportion standpoint, are pr pretty much a perfect size for a 16 ounce glove. Um, I did mention earlier in the video that these would be perfect for sparring. Uh, because of the lace-ups, there's really no material on this glove except this patch right here, which I would probably put a little bit of tape on to cover that. Outside of that, this is, to me, uh, perfect for sparring because it gives you enough size and foam density and thickness to give yourself protection as well as for your sparring partner. Um, and there you go. You can see right there, it looks really good. Again, comfort is probably one of the strongest points with this glove, and you can open and close your hand uh, relatively easy even when they're brand new and then obviously the more you use them they'll soften up a little bit more and break in protection and performance the padding on here i'd say it's right in the middle if there was a line that went across your screen and there was a zero and there was a 100 and a 50 in the middle um, this frame to me is like right at 50 in terms of like the firmness it's not too soft and it's not extra stiff and firm to where you're, you feel like you're pushing against, you know, concrete. It's it's perfect, really. It's it's a great type of foam that you can use for sparring. Uh, layered foam, you definitely use it for, for bag work, hitting the mitts. You get a good amount of feedback and compression out of the foam. So when you land on your knuckles, uh, it doesn't feel like the glove is bouncing off the target. It more or less feels like you're absorbing into the target. And you can see that the surface goes nice and flat with that. So. To me, those are my favorite types of foams just because you get the best feel and the most satisfying feel when you're hitting a bag and if you're using these for sparring or other types of training. So uh, definitely another strong point is going to be the foam that they use in this glove, aside from 
the comfort level. Cost-wise, these gloves are 60 British pounds. Now, it depends on where you live and you order these gloves. If you're here in the States, that it's equivalent to, depending on the exchange rate, right now I think it's about 75 US dollars, plus you have to consider shipping. Uh, if you're in other parts of the world, I'm not sure how that much is this gonna cost. You would have to send an inquiry to Messenger to get them to give you a quote. But I would venture to say, you know, on average, these are probably anywhere between a 75 to $100 glove, just depending on where you live. And that's, that's to account for shipping and the exchange rate. But uh, for here in the States, it's 75 US dollars, uh, which is a great price for a glove like this, full genuine leather, um, big range of sizes. You can get them in Laso, Le Laso, Velcro or Lace Up. That's like created a new term, Laso. So a Laso Velcro glove. Uh -huh. um, so you can get them in Lace Up or Velcro. Um, so, you, you know, colorways are, are, there's different types. You have red, white, blue, black. Um, it would be nice to see if they did like a split colorway where you have like a split thumb because I, all the colors I saw on their website are all pretty much one solid color outside of the stitches. Uh, so it would be nice. And I'm sure they could do that if you were, if you were to request it. It would probably be a little bit more expensive if you were to do that. But from a pricing standpoint, I think that's, uh, these are a really good value, good bang for the buck. So. Uh, pros of these gloves would be full genuine leather construction, good quality, uh, great comfort, and I love the padding on these gloves. Um, you also have a good variation in colors as well as sizes. I'd say the cons of the glove is going to be, I would say just the weight being a little underweight at 15 and a half ounces, um, it being a little bit top heavy. And then just getting more color options for these gloves would be really nice. A little bit different design in that regard. But outside of that, I think these are very solid gloves. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box. Uh, where you can find these Messenger Elite XXQ boxing gloves. I'll see you guys later. Take care.